Hi guys again, welcome back. I want to show you a piece of very shoddy and bad journalism. Ironically, the guy actually hosting it and interviewing is usually a very good journalist on Australian morning TV. Well, here he is working on an evening show called A Current Affair on Australia's Channel 9. As the title says, looks at current affair issues. It's quite commercial, but they do some good issues, usually about Aussie battlers. But here he is interviewing Jermaine Greer. And sadly, he kind of loses his journalism ethics and his journalism skills. Have a look at his facial expressions, the way he asks his questions and phrases them, and his outro at the end, what he has to say. Enjoy. See someone trying to wave crack whips at them and wave chairs at them. But jumping all over crocodiles is the same kind of thing. People are saying that you are being incredibly insensitive, saying these things at this time. Steve Irwin hasn't even been laid to rest yet. It's got really nothing to do with him. It's got to do with the phenomenon that he is. It has everything to do with him. No, I don't think so. The phenomenon is not over. But what I hope is that this is the end of that kind of nature program. Do you understand at all the sense of loss people are feeling right now? Oh, for heaven's sake. You know, you can feel a sense of loss about any death of a 44-year-old man with two small children. That is a, a very sad situation. I'm not saying that's not sad. I'm saying what, what might be over now is this kind of exploitation of animals. I really found the whole Steve Irwin phenomenon, Steve Irwin phenomenon, embarrassing. And I'm not the only person who did, or indeed the only Australian who did. Jermaine, can you name for me one person who agrees with you? There's lots of other people who think the way I do, don't you worry. Not one person has come out and agreed with you, have they? Well, yes, yes they have. Jermaine, you're making it up. Look, all I'm trying to do here is have people rethink this whole issue. I am sick and tired of seeing program after program after program about the ocean's deadliest, which is the name of the thing that Steve was working on uh, when he took time out to do something for Bindi's uh, program. Um, I'm sick and tired of programs that tell me that the world is full of wicked, nasty, powerful, deadly creatures. Why does Australia set itself up to be made into this hellhole? I'm sick and tired of it. It's absolutely unfair. Jermaine, you are being called un-Australian, out of touch with what everyday Australians are thinking. Does that worry you? I don't care what I'm being called. I, listen, I hope I'm out of touch with what idiots are thinking. Now you're calling Australians idiots, are you? You're the one who's telling me what Australians are thinking. I don't think Australians are as dim or as easily led as you make it seem. As far as I can see, quite a few Australians have been embarrassed by Steve Irwin. Lots millions possibly. Why are the English calling it Australia's Princess Diana moment? Aren't you embarrassed about that at least? Jermaine, I think, I hope, you're on your own there. We'll leave it there. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy. I don't think so. Jermaine Greer there with her bitter and warped view of Steve Irwin's wonderful life, a life which the rest of the world is celebrating. Okay, interesting interview there. I don't know what you made of it. Now, personally, let me begin at the beginning by saying, well, where else would I begin? Let me say I personally disagree with a lot of what Jermaine Greer said. I thought Steve Owen did a lot of good for conservation of animals, and I honestly don't believe he hurt the animals, and I believe he actually did love the animals, and he wanted the best for them. Yes, she is right that about many people not actually supporting the idea that Steve Earn was great. But it's the interviewer I've got the issue with. He's actually usually a very good journalist, but he let his emotions and views get in the way of a good journalism. I'm pretty shocked, personally, that the TV channel let him get away with that. I mean, not only did he keep saying things like, I think you don't represent the majority, who cares what he thinks? He's the interviewer, for goodness sake. It's what Jermaine Greer thinks that is important. And at the end, he calls her, what was it, a bitter and twisted woman. I mean, Gosh, I, I know you get radio shock jocks or phone in talk back hosts who talk like that, but a guy on a current affairs program who is supposed to be neutral. Now, I know that presenter's been in the business for years, but come on, maybe it's time to retrain slightly if you can get away with that kind of comment. That really is bad journalism there. An entertaining interview, no less, but very, very bad journalism. A reporter, a presenter rather, 
giving his own opinion on a current affairs program. Hey, less of that. Let's hear what the person's got to say and less judgments from the presenter. Thank you.